Ladies and gentlemen, I believe I identified the exact moment, sequence of events, and hands that took place on June 22nd, 2018, that led Mike Postle to decide to cheat on the Stones live stream and turn into a man that played like this with his phone on the railing for everybody to see, to a man that just two sessions later decided that he would start looking into his crotch area during pivotal moments in the hands. I'm going to show you the hands that took place leading up to this on June 22nd, 2018, where Mike Pasta was owned over and over again by a nemesis of his name, Dave, who I believe led him down the path that he then decided to go the next session. I'm going to show you the progression of how the crotch look got. I'm going to show you how it got worse and worse. And I'm going to show you how this man is no poker god. This man's just a regular player who plays like a regular old player. There's nothing spectacular about his play at all. Right here, take a look. June 22nd, 2018. <laughs> This is the last session before God mode. Mike complains how Dave's been beating him for one year straight. But yeah, had Harlan folded, increased. yeah, because he gets yeah. to see the whole board with any hand against David O. And it's not even about like, oh, David O's this kind of player. It's just that Mike P loves stacking David O. It's like what he lives for. He I doesn't mean, care. It's Dave O. Mike, he wants to play any okay. hand he can against him. So just a few short sessions later, Mike Postle on June 22nd goes from a man who complains about Dave O destroying him to August 10th. Just a few sessions played on Stones later to a man that loves stacking Dave O and a man that looks down into his crotch area consistently. And here you can see, this is Mike Postle. This is no poker god. This is just a regular guy playing a regular hand. No crotch looking, no phone on the table, no over animation, no fucking acting, no perfect play, none of this bullshit, no diabolicalness, no anything. Just a guy who plays regular poker, who makes some plays. As you can see right here, right? Mike Postle bluffing into the nuts. Makes a bluff raise. The guy's got bottom set. The guy comes back over the top. Postle's going to lose his hand. This is a normal hand. A diabolical guy. He makes plays. During the God Mode sessions, we see Mike Postle do none of this. We don't see Mike Postle bluff into the nuts at any point in time like this. This is a, a pre-God Mode session. July 18th, the next Norman Holmes session Mike Postle plays. Two hours and one minutes in. This is the moment Mike Postle took his phone off the rail and put it down in his crotch area. His entire play style changes, his entire pattern changes, his acting changes, his body language changes, and his crotch looking changes forever. Right here, July 18th, two, two hours and one minutes in. Looks around, make sure the phone, make sure it's working right there. That is the moment that thing's changed right there. And now you see later on in that session, four hours and 23 minutes, the hand starts off, Mike Postle's phone is on the rail. This is when he was just getting getting started with the system. This is the first session. He gets three bet by four bet Jesus here with Jax. He has seven, five offsuit Postle has, and now comes back to Postle. The phone is no more. He's looking down in his lap. His, his, his shirt's back off the rail. You can see Postle staring into his phone before he's going to make a kamikaze play that up until this point, six months prior playing on the stream, these are not the type of actions and plays and, and overall style of a Mike Postle. But now he takes the phone off the railing, puts it in his lap, and now he's going to try to bluff this guy off Jax with a 7-5 offsuit and 3-up pot. Just a, a, a pretty kamikaze type of play that did not exist prior to this moment taking place from Mike Postle. Raising 7-5, calling 3 bets a 7-5. So now you're going to see the progression. Mike Postle, also not the big stack there too. This is July 30th, the very next session. Mike Postle doesn't know how to do the system. He's trying to look down. Look at him. He's trying to look in the crotch area, but he, he, it's his first time. One hour, 28 minutes in. This is his first time doing this. First full session doing this. So now he's nervous. He doesn't know how to do it. So now he's actually going to fold the straight here with the Jack redraw and watch what happens. He looks down into that man meet and he sees the bad news. Watch this. He looks up. He's trying to look down. It's his first time. He's not used to it yet. He's not comfortable. Now he takes the deep look down right there, backs up and he sees the bad news. You can see it in his face. He's like, man, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Looks around, look back and follow up. This is the first time out. So Mike Postle's just getting used 
to the system right about here. And you can see that look on his face. And now you're going to see him get progressively better and better and better over time. July 30th, 2018. Like I said, July 18th, first session, he put the phone down there. This is the second session. Then we're going to go to the next session here, and you're going to see the logical progression take place here. So this is July 30th, one more time, actually. Looks down in the crotch area right there when he's facing a decision with the 7-6. He's got the straight draw. Looks back up there again. Once again, this was a deep look right there. Goes back down in there. This is new, right? He's trying not to draw himself. He's trying to put the hand on the ear. He wants to make it look like it's some sort of natural movement when really he's staring down at his dong there. And now once again, later on in the same session, this is still that first full-time session there. You can see, makes a call, and now he's going to look back down again, put the hand on the ear. I don't know if that's his, if he's got something in the ear or if there's some sort of dual thing. What's going on here? Later on that session, 154, one more time, still brand new to the system. So he's going to bet out with the tense here and instead of aces. Then he looks down at the crotch area and sees the bad news. His entire language changes right after that. This is the next session, August 1st. You can see right here, watch the smile. Mike Postle's facing her all-in wager, looks down. Grabs the hat. Look at this. Look at this. Grabs the... Look at this. This is the second time full time. He's going to fold and watch the little sly smile on this dude's face. Look at the sly smile. He knows, man. This is the second time he took it out. Second full time. He takes it up for a spin. He's just getting used to it. Makes the hero fold. Gives a sly smile. Here we go. It's a bomb pot. Everyone's in the pot. Postle looks down when facing a bet. You see it right here. He's got the top pair, Jack-10. This guy said it pocket nines. For some reason, leads out like five or six way here with the bomb pot. And then Postle's going to take this guy and stack him. This guy better be in the lawsuit. So Postle makes the expert bet of $100 on the turn. And then the river, he shoves all in with the Jack-10. Once the king gets there, this guy in a bomb pot certainly could have a better hand. Postle doesn't care. Makes a $100 bet on the turn into a big pot and then jams the river there. This is uh, So now we're going to get into... Now we're going to get into this June 22nd. So this is... Once again, this is Mike Postle playing before, right? So there's no crotch looking, right? This is a normal hand. Mike Postle is going to make a bet here into a better hand. He's going to check call, and he's going to lose a big lose a pot to Dave O. Once again, August 3rd, okay? This is what? The third or fourth full-time session. Once again, here you go. Here's the crotch look right here. Grabs the hat once again. Has the laugh, fake laugh. He looks down. He's still perfecting that system. He's still getting better with the system. So you saw him before, and now you see him after, and I'm going to show you guys how this guy's play style different. Here we go, August 10th. Here you go. Watch what he's doing. He's staring down into this crotch, deciding, looking, trying to look at the hands. Look at, what he's, look at what the fuck is this guy doing. Look at him. What the fuck is he doing? What the fuck is he doing? Not even get a chance to see this. And then this hand. Uh, Justin yes, Caritas, Harlan, the alleged uh, conspirator. I think if Harlan folds, Mike P, Mike the only one left Mike. in the pot, is calling just well, no, because calling. of his history with David O. We'll ask Mike later, okay? He's coming in now for sure. But yeah, had Harlan pulled it, increased. yeah, because he gets yeah. to see the whole board with any hand against David O. And it's not even about like, oh, David O's this kind of player. It's just that Mike P loves stacking David O. It's like what he lives. I wonder for. why. No, and the reason why I said he was going to fold fives is if he calls fives there for so now, thirty bucks with only twenty dollars invested in this hand. What's he hoping for? Justin's just a he's flip? hoping. To stack Dave O. Just a flip? That's it? He I doesn't mean, care. It's Dave O. Mike, he wants to play any okay. hand he can against him. No, I get and it. look, Mike's good. Mike's good right now, but Harlan does have a spade draw. Yeah. No, because uh, in a tournament... During this hand, Justin Kreitas would call Mike Postle after it and say, hey, uh, what would you have done there at Pocket Fives? Justin Kreitas, look at Here you go. Crotch look again later on that session. August 10th session. Look at this. What the fuck is this guy doing? He turns his head to the side. I mean... Listen, if you're the investigators out there, if you're the people investigating this, all you got to do is go back to July 18th, July 30th. Who was Mike Postle talking to before he decided to put the phone in the crotch on that July 18th session? July 30th, who was he talking to? These are very easy. You get the security cameras. You see this guy's talking to. Look at this shit. You're going to find the answers to this question. This isn't a hard investigation if you have access to that stuff. This is open and shut case right here, man. So you can see Postle later on this August 10th session. You can see Dave right there, unsuspecting. Now all of a sudden, Mike Postle loves playing pots with Dave's P. Loves, lo loves getting in the mix. From before, he's complaining about getting known for one year straight. All of a sudden now, this is September 26th. So this is just a little bit, this is a, a, a month and a, a half. Here you go, Mike Postle. Actually has an iron shirt on one time. Here he's facing a three bet with aces, right? He's going to look down first. Look at, he looks down in the crotch area to see what he's up against because he gets three bet. He's got aces. He's just going to call. He's not going to four bet. He sees the guy has a six. He's not going to four bet. Looks down the crotch. You can see none of that stuff took place. 
prior to July 18th. None of that stuff took place. So now I want to show you guys how Mike Possel really plays poker. This is no god. This is no, this is no best player in the world. This is just a fucking guy who's a solid player, who plays kind of like a fucking donk sometimes, who makes some, tries to make some plays. He likes to play fancy like it's 2008. And uh, we can debate if he's even a winning player in these games, honestly. We can. So let's watch him plays here. Possel calls the, the, the four bet here with the A7 suited, flops enough flush draw, no crotch looking, none of that. June 22nd, 2018, just immediately checks down. Look how fast the action is. Look at this. There's no debate. There's no thought. He could bet this hand if he knew the guy at ace-king to get him off it. Nothing. Just gets the showdown, happily loses. A hand after God mode. When crotch mode's on, we have not seen Mike Possel play hands like that. That is not something we've seen. You're going to see many hands. Now Mike Possel, $1,400 stack. He's the short stack. A guy that loves adding on to cover his opponents. All of a sudden now, not the big fucking stack. What happened? Right? Here you go. Ace queen versus ace six David O. This is where David drops the fucking stick on him once again. So Possel flops trip aces. Dave has the full house here. And you're going to see Possel. Phone on the rail. Look at that. There's no crotch. There's no hat grabbing. There's no laughing. There's no animation. There's no laughing in your fucking face. There's none of that stuff's going on here. He makes a bet. Dave calls. Turn comes down. Pots 470. Dave's got about what? About six, 700 left there behind. Postle, not the big stack here. Hasn't topped off. Hasn't added on. Hasn't, isn't his diabolical stuff. None of that kind of shit's happening here. Okay. There's no 7-5 also raise, call three bets. There's none of this is going on this session. Just a regular guy playing poker, making some moves, winning some hands, and losing some hands. Here he goes. He bets 250. He gets called. Dave slow playing him. River comes down. The flush gets there. Dave certainly going to have a flush draw. Possel is going to bet 200 here for some thin value here. And then Dave O is going to raise all in and then show him a uh, shows him an ace. I believe he shows him one card. Look, and now Mike's, look at Mike. He can't believe it, right? Look at him. He can't. He's like, oh my god. And he's like, oh man. He's got raised for two hundred dollars more, two thirty-five more here. He's looking. He's looking. He can't believe it. This is a normal player right here. What you're witnessing, normal player, normal thinking, talking to the player, trying to figure something out, right? Where's the expert at? Where's the body language fucking expert here? Where's the human behavior expert who's able to deduce what anyone has just from talking to him like he can after this session takes place? Where's the crotch looking? Right? Here's just a man acting like a regular fucking player. None of this nonsense that we saw take place after this. So he's laughing. He can't believe it. How could you raise? Do you really have a full house? He's got to pay him off. All right, I'll pay you off. Hat on the, you know, look. What's that? Look, just a normal guy. Just can't believe his luck here. What happened? Right? He's trying to get a read. He's trying to get some information. Dave shows one, and then he's going to lose here. And you see the session. He gets he gets owned by Dave hard here. He gets owned this session. So now he's, uh, should I fold? Uh, uh, uh. Now he calls. Dave flips over the full house. Apostle loses. Takes it down. Genuine, genuine expression to me, it looks like, on his face. Just laughing. Kind of goes down here. Next hand. Apostle, a little bit tilted here. No crotch looking once again. He, he's got a straddle here, it looks like, with 9-6. Dave's going to raise with ace-10 offsuit. Dave's laughing, jovial, smiling, having a good time. Harlan's right there in the mix. Like that shirt, like that tattoo right there. Nice fitting shirt, muscles there. I like that a lot too. Looking good. So now uh, three bet happens from Harlan here from the small blind. And then uh, Possel is going to make a call here. Looks like he's got about what? About $1,000 here, maybe a little more than $1,000. So he's going to call with the 6 9 suit it. And you're going to see Mike Possel make one of his terrible pre flop plays and then make terrible post flop plays, which is what is going to happen when you play terrible fucking hands. This is Mike Possel right here, okay? All right, the guy we've been watching this week, these sessions, is not Mike Possel. This is Mike Possel right here. He cold calls a three bet with six nine off suited. He leads the ace six four board, and Dave's got ace ten. This is Mike Possel for you guys right here. This is the player. Is this the best player in the world to you? Bets 275, looks at his hand, turn comes down. It's a queen. Pots 1300. He checks. Dave bets 200. Where's the bluff, right? Where's the all? Where, where, where's the move, right? This is just a man who's kind of shitty at poker sometimes, man. This is all I see here. A guy that makes some plays, tries to make some moves, folds the best hand. 
just not the same player. I thought he played with these guys for years. Where's the fucking reads at, Mike? Where's the God mode? Where's the, where's the maneuvering? Where's the diabolicalness? Where's the genius play? You know, where's the laughing in their fucking face? Where's the crotch looking? Right? So here he goes. He calls a, uh, a four bet from Dave with ace jack. He's got the best hand here. Looks at him. Dave O continuation bets. Mike just folds the best hand to a hundred dollar bet into 240. Where's the reading ability, Mike? Where's the blowing him off it? Where's the check call? Why is the play style change? Here we go. Mike's got queen 10 here. David's got ace king. So Mike bets out. Or Mike just calls a bet with queen 10. Doesn't raise this guy with the nut flush draw. Very interesting. Mike Posso plays top pair differently when he can't see the cards, huh? He's not raising for light value here. Here comes the turn. Pot's 1100. Mike's going to bet 280. Dave's got ace king. He's going to call here. Got two overs. Dave doesn't like folding. JP's got another flush draw. He's going to call. River comes down the king. Dave gets there once again. Check, check. Dave value bets. And now this is something we do not see Possible do. We have not seen Possible call Rivers when he has the worst hand. He called. Look at him. Look at him. Gets beat again. Look at this. Genuine expression. Genuine fucked up. How do you have ace king? How do you have it? Check calls River. Loses to Dave. Look at him. He's at, he seems genuinely fucking tilted there. Just a regular player. A regular guy. And here you go. Mike Postle in a thing we we have not seen during crotch mode, right? He's got pocket queens. He just calls the three bet. I think this might have been a raise. I think it's a 20 straddle. I don't know if this is actually three bet. So he calls it with, with pocket queens here, right? And now he leads out with pocket queens on 9-3 nine, three, nine, three deuce. 125. He leads out with that small size here. Honestly, when I watch Possible play, I think he's I think he's kind of fucking bad. I really do. So now he gets raised to 500 here. And now where's where's the where's the guy? Where's the man that that makes all the right plays? That hero calls in all the right spots, huh? So Harlan raises, Mike leads, calls the raise. Here, this is what happens to a guy who plays this style: is that you get yourself into a lot of spots, you make some bad calls, you make some bad folds. This is how it is. This is a completely different player. Now he checks. Harlan turns the gutter here. He's still got the queen high flush draw. Pot's 1,300. You know Paso does not like to lose these hands when he's staring down into his fucking dick. All right? This is Mike Paso playing. I've watched enough of this guy play God mode to know that this is really how the guy plays. All right? You win some, you lose some. So now, where's the, where's the fucking, where's the genius, right? The guy bets what? Bets 950 here into a pot of, uh, what is about 1,200? Three-fourths pot the God. We know. Easy check call here. Maybe even check jam for the God. But now, look. A God doesn't know what to do. He's flying blind. The session right before he decides, I'm going to have to cheat here to win. Look at this. This is just a guy. Where's the, where's the laughing? Right? Folds, right? Who is this player? I don't recognize this player at all. I don't even know who this guy is. Right? Another hand here. Look at just a guy just... Unsure of himself. Unsure of what he did. Unsure if he made the right play. Don't look like he knows what anyone has there. Here you go. Mike back in the mix here. <laughs> so Mike has top pair here. The King Jack. He limps on the button. He's got top pair. Pocket fives bets. Four deuce. Inexplicably raises here. I don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe Sea Salt knows what the fucking hands is. I don't know what he's doing. He raises, and then Mike Posso is in position with the King Jack. He's going to fold the top pair. Something we certainly do not see a Mike Posso do in God Mode session. Look, there's the man. Just lays it down. That's it. And now we get to the, man, the main hand against Dave. Table talks on. Apostle's beaten down four hours into the session right now. He's not winning. He's getting bested. Plays one of another one of his terrible fucking hands. Queen seven suited pre flop. Dave raises on the button with 10 5 suited. Apostle, just a regular player, man. T shirt, fitted. This guy with that sick fucking hat on a safari hat. I like that guy. My man from Jurassic World. I like that guy a lot. 
39. Yeah, 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 39. 
So now Apostle is going to call. He just calls here with straight. The poker, the best player in the world. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. The best player in the world. River comes down the seven, the six of diamonds. So Postle still has the straight, but the guy makes the flush. And now we see Postle get away from these hands all the time later on. Hey, okay, laughs in your face, folds. But now watch his face. The guy bets 350. We do not see Postle make, make more than one bad river decision. He calls, flicks in a chip. Look at his face. This is a regular guy. This is how a regular guy hero calls. This is what it's like. A normal player make bad plays, bad calls on tilt. Look at this. This is what it's like, guys. This is the session, I believe. They're over Mike Postle. To the dark. Look at him. Just a man tilted. Running bad most of the night. Not winning money. Not up money. Down a few thousand dollars. End of the session's nearing. This is what the guy looks like, guys. Here on the short stack. Where's the big stack? Hmm. I wonder what changed. June 22nd, 2018. I wonder what changed from there to July 18th and July 30th. That's it, guys. This wraps up my five-part series for the week. I'm going to be back Monday, one final video on the investigation. And now it's up to the authorities to see what happens with Mike Possel. Possel knows what he did. It is what it is. Hopefully he moves past this point of his life. Figures out something else to do with his talents and his ability. And we get some closure to this case for these people that were that had their money taken by this guy. I don't care how much he won or lost. If the spreadsheet's wrong or right, I don't give a fuck about that. The guy is obviously taking advantage of these players session after session after session after session. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this series. Mike Possel. Just another fucking rag, man.